Hey everybody, it's January 20th. Tony here, um, working in the shop again. Um, got the 4-inch blower together. Uh, the same day I was working on the harvester, Mitch and I, he, it was nice to have extra hands. There was a lot of hardware to put in. There's bolts go the whole way around. The band pretty much, uh, it's not half of the, uh, it's about half, just about half of the blower that it goes around. Um, so we got that fastened up. There's supports here. I went to Weaver's this morning for some other stuff and they had new blowers sitting there, so I saw what they did. I actually had a piece that ended up getting scrapped. I mean, I put it in a scrap pile and somebody used it already, literally within two hours of being put there. Well, here I see they used that piece as well as this piece, but I think we'll still be as good as what we were. Um, and also these ears, uh, I want to cut these off and I have new ones to weld on and I wasn't sure what the extra thread rod was here for uh, and the new blowers also have a support that goes from here and fastens to here which I think is a good idea so I might try to rig something up to do that I'm just not sure what that's gonna look like yet um, I wish I would have took pictures of it I was in a hurry and I kind of thought, well, if I make it how it used to be, it'll be as good as it was, and that was actually pretty good. However, um, this is where things broke out, so this extra support would help keep that from happening again. Anyhow, I do have a little bit of welding to do here. The rods right here, I think from all the, when we were blowing it, just the vibration and stuff, the threads were actually messed up. So. I need to, uh, I'm gonna cut this off and put a, some, uh, take a bolt and cut the head off or whatever and put it in there. Um, well, there's a couple ways I could do it. Anyhow, that's what we're doing. I already started to cut this off and remembered I had a camera behind me. So, um, yeah, that's what we're at to, or up to. I got the old pieces cut off. Um, this is what they look like. They've been on there since new. Got the uh, new pieces here. They're shaped a little different. I'm not sure. Probably. Um, they were laser cut. And they probably were both laser cut. But this one just looks a little better, I guess. The new one has a little more of a hook and comes up around the other side a little more, I guess, for more support. So, anyhow, I'm going to grind off. The extra little bit of weld that's left there yet. I'm going to grind that down, get things smoothed out, and then put it up in place and uh, get these new ones tacked on. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be good. Like I said, I'm going to look into uh, adding more support to it, um, like they did in the newer ones. We got things smoothed up on the piece where I took cut the pieces off. I'm going to. Put the chute back on again. I don't have the hooks there to hold it, so I gotta kinda. Be an ornery. All right. Looks like we got it back in place. Now I'm gonna. Take these new hooks and uh, weld them on like so. Got the hooks welded on both sides. A uh, little bit of 6011 farmer welding going on there. And uh, next step, I'll at least do this and then it'll be as good as it was before we broke it. Um, I had asked for these parts, but they, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, but i guessing for what they cost, I can hopefully probably do just as good. But I was gonna cut this off here and get a bolt, the same size bolt, I believe it's a 5 8 size stud. And I'm gonna weld that bolt onto here. Um, I was thinking of just cutting the head off, but I think I might actually use the head to weld on um, it'll give me a little more surface to weld on. I don't know if that's, I feel like that'd be a good thing. So we're gonna 
Let's see what that's gonna look like. I didn't get all that um, time lapse without the picture. I uh, put a bolt in here, welded it on. I don't like that, but hopefully the weld's strong enough that it holds. Um, did the same thing over here. I have it as good as it was, assuming the welds hold before anything happened or when it, you know, as good as it was when it was new. Um, I do like the idea of having an extra, extra support here. Um, for now, I'm gonna get it out of the shop. It's ready to go if we need it. If I wanna add that extra support, I can come back later and do it. Um, like I said, I have it as good as it was, which it moved a lot of material in the time we've had it. So um, hopefully uh, if we do with it what we did before, it'll last a while. And uh, if I have some time, I'll entertain putting those eyelets in to give it that extra strength. Morning, everybody. It's January 21st, I believe. We got, oh, it's like 11 or 12 degrees right now here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Pretty cold for us, especially uh, compared to what we've been getting the last several years. Uh, well, my phone shows 14, so I'm a little off, but I think it may have been a little colder earlier. Uh, calling for some single digits here in our extended forecast, which um, I think it's safe to say we have already got more frost in the ground here this winter than we've had last winter for sure. Um, and if it does what it's saying, we're going to have more frost in our ground than we've had in a few years, which is good because it's good, good to freeze out the ground and loosen up that dirt. Everybody says it kills a few bugs, but yeah, I hopefully it kills a few. We have a few that we, we could be getting rid of. So right now I'm hauling pen pack out of our compost pile. Um, Mitch and Ashlyn are going to uh, be hauling liquid. Um, if the weather does what it's saying, we should be able to get all of our rye ground covered have our pen pack, our compost pile hold out. Um, the last several years we've piled our compost in our bunkers that are empty. Um, not the nicest because of, well, we store the feed there as well. And um, I don't know, it's kind of like pooping on your dinner plate and then using it to eat dinner, even though you rinsed it off, but something like that maybe. Right now I'm taking my second load out for the morning, uh, hauling on some corn fodder ground. Uh, we have a couple hundred acres here we're able to haul on. Uh, it's nice to be able to haul on that versus the rye ground. That way we don't have to make more tracks in our rye field and compact that ground more than necessary. Hydraulic oil is a little bit stiff this morning as it is most cold mornings. So the tailgate raises a little slower. Got to give extra time for that. Once the tractor gets warmed up, that gets better. However, the hydraulic lines are long, so that oil tends to cool off between loads. So even though the oil gets warm in the tractor, it still moves a little slower until the lines get emptied out. So I just got a message from Mitch saying that the pump tractor, I don't know, apparently has some fuel gelled up which I think is another way of saying there's moisture in the line and it froze. Um, never really seen a bucket of gelled fuel around here. Maybe it happens where it's negative 30, but um, so there's a good chance had some ice, some water that froze in one of the oil filters, most likely, fuel filters, I should say. Um, so when I get back, I'm gonna try to give them a hand and hopefully we can get that tractor going again. So Ashlyn and I are gonna go down to this thing and see if we can get it going. Got some filters here, some tools. Wanna get this thing fired up again before it gets chilly and gets a runny nose and doesn't wanna start. So, they're kind of a soft tractor for whatever reason in the cold. We have other ones that are don't mind 7420 7600 they don't care uh, 
the big ones they don't care either they, years ago everything had to get plugged in and yeah it's good to plug them in to warm them up but most of this stuff starts without a whole lot of trouble 7405 it was called the advantage series well let's see what we got here i think they're in this side all right yeah, well now it looks like there might have been some moisture in there can't believe it there the tractor's warm enough i would have thought there's enough heat coming off that engine it's hard for me to believe that that filter sucked dry though yep there must have been ice somewhere i can i can push fuel out from the primer uh, let me, i'm not gonna worry about the glass bowl on the bottom what a book brought some fuel and filled the filter up but hopefully we'll fill it up here relatively quickly years ago a 7600 had the inline filter i just got done saying that started good well it always was good but the inline filter had moisture in it and it froze drain water regularly hmm wonder why there we go got fuel there fire up on video there we well, that wasn't so complicated which was nice but yeah there must be a chunk of ice in the filter that uh, blocked off the fuel flow um, I don't know if you heard me say in the video about draining water regularly and I don't always do that so Slacker. there we go that's what happened so anyhow like I said it wasn't so bad we got the tractor going again it uh, those things do not like the cold weather, and I don't understand it. But I don't blame it though. I don't like the cold weather either. Well, yeah, that, yeah. 